Today in our 2016 Chrysler Town & Country, we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the Drawtight Custom Fit Class 2 Trailer Hitch Receiver. This is going to offer an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter opening. Its part number is 36455. Here's what our hitch is going to look like installed on the vehicle. As you can see, all we're going to see is our receiver tube opening and our safety chain connection points. That main cross tube's been hidden in behind the bumper, which is really nice. You can get the use of a hitch without having the big thing all the way across the back of the vehicle. Now, inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter open. That works great for class one and class two accessories. This is a class two hitch. Class two, you're gonna be able to use four bike racks, cargo carriers, lots of options with the class two, whereas with the class one, you'd be a little more limited. Now we do have a half inch diameter pinhole. That's gonna be the hole that we're gonna to use to secure any of our items in place. Should work out great with class two accessories. There's plenty of room on each side here to get it secured. Safety chain connection points are gonna be like a rolled style steel stock. Plenty of room on each side to make whatever safety chain style connection you might want there. Now this hitch offers a 300 pound tongue weight rating, so that's the maximum downward force we can put here at the receiver tube opening. And it offers a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating, so that's the total of our trailer and then everything that we've got loaded up on it. Now we will want to look into the owner's manual in the town and country, see what its tow ratings are, and we'll go off of whichever of these numbers are the lowest. Now a few measurements that you'll find helpful in selecting your ball mount, bike rack, or hitch cargo carrier will be from the ground to the inside top edge of our receiver tube opening, we've got about 13 inches. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's about five and a half. Now to begin our installation, we're first going to lower down the exhaust. That's going to give us a lot better access to get up to the bolts that we need to remove. Now to do this, we're going to take off three hangers. You have your tailpipe here, we're going to go just in front of that. There will be a rubber hanger here and a bolt that goes into the bottom of the vehicle. We'll just back that out, just like that. Then we'll move on up the exhaust. Our next one's going to be just behind the large muffler here in the middle of the vehicle. And the final one will be just in front of that muffler to the passenger side. All right, that'll come down and rest right there on our rear axle. As you can see, that's going to allow us good access to the bolts we need to remove. We've got one that's going to require an 18 millimeter socket here on the front, and then the one behind it's going to require a 15. Now on our driver's side, we're going to have three. These two are going to be the 18, and then the one in the back there is going to be a 15. Now we want to hang on to our hardware. We're going to reuse this to put our hitch into place. Now we'll get an extra set of hands to help us raise our hitch into position. We'll just take the bolts that we've removed. They're going to go right through our mounting locations, right up into the holes they came out of. Once we have four or five good turns on there, we'll just let it rest into position. And with this class two application, we're not going to need the front bolt. So that can go right back into its original spot. All right, let's take a quick look just to be sure we have our hitch centered. Once we firm that, we'll go ahead and snug up our hardware and then torque it down to the specifications that we can find in our instructions. Now there's a piece of wire loom that's included. That's for this rear air conditioner line. If the hitch is gonna be close to it or if you've got any worry about it rubbing, you can place that over it. You just wanna be sure that when you put the hitch into position, we're not pinching that. That can cause damage to the AC system here in the rear. All right, let's get them torqued down. All right, now we can get our exhaust put back into place. With our exhaust back in place, that completes today's installation of the Draw Tight Custom Fit Class 2 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 36455 on our 2016 Chrysler Town & Country.